What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 9 beta 1. So as you guys know, Apple just wrapped up their WWDC 2015 keynote event where they announced a slew of new things in the software department of Apple. Um, one of those major things that I want to cover, of course, is iOS 9. And that's something we've been anticipating for a long time and it's finally here and there's a slew of new features and enhancements to the OS itself. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can download it on your device because I know you're waiting to do that and I'm really excited to be running the firmware myself as well. So in this video today, you're going to learn exactly how to do it fast, easy, secure, and you'll have iOS 9 beta 1 and all of the future betas of iOS 9 throughout the coming months before Apple releases it in September on your device in no time. Let's talk about UDID registration. Now this is something that is mandatory, you have to do right off the bat. There's no way around it. And the best way to do that is to go to UDIDregistrations.com. Now you guys have heard me talk about these guys plenty of times before. I'm gonna make this short and sweet just to get the point across. Now packages start at $4.99, they go all the way up uh, to $12.99, the gold package, that's the best one they have. It's got everything, literally UDID registration, instant processing, certificate and provisioning, premium membership, device replacement, and it's just most capable. As a matter of fact, right now there's a coupon code, uh, WWDC2015, and you get 15% off gold or silver packages. So, I mean, you can't miss this opportunity. You can't go wrong with a coupon. You know, you're basically getting a really good price for some really good packages. And at the same time, you're getting your UDID registered so you could run the latest iOS 9 betas from Apple. Now, once you buy one of these packages, they will last for the entire year. So you'll be able to use all the iOS 9 betas throughout the summer. You could pay with major debit and credit cards card companies as well as PayPal and even Bitcoin. And some great things about their site I haven't talked about before is they actually have an order tracker. You simply input your device's UDID from the order uh, to track it. And they also have a download site, which is where you can actually read some information about, of course, Apple's policy with the fact that for legal reasons, uh, links to actual direct links to the actual firmwares cannot be published. However, um, there's a link here where you can visit uh, iMod's own downloads, which is what I recommend every year uh, to actually download the firmwares that you want. So check out these sites or whatever else you want do some looking around of course for legal reasons we can't blatantly put them right there um, but I'll leave this link in the description udidregistrations.com slash download so you can go check it out and if there's any issues during the process you can also visit uh, their FAQs which provides a ton of information and more that you're going to need to know exactly about the process everything can be answered there WWDC just happened there are so many people that are probably trying to register their iDevice so if in the process you know it takes a little bit of time for you to receive confirmation um, um, or if you're not 100% sure that your device is in fact registered, maybe you're getting some errors or something, just give it some time. Of course, your order has been placed and is in queue, um, but of course you want to give it some time because uh, servers are just getting slammed at this point today. So expect some time to be taken. Rest assured, you're registered and you'll be up and running shortly. Now for three lucky subscribers, on June 15th, I'm going to be picking three winners to actually win um, UDID registration slots. So three lucky random people, um, if you're viewing this video, you're going to have the chance to actually um, win one of the UDID slots so you can access iOS 9 betas for completely free. And all you have to do is click the subscribe button below, subscribe to my channel, and leave just one comment down below saying why you want to win. And on June 15th, I'll be picking the winner of those three slots. So you'll want to follow me on Twitter at Mike's iOS Help to keep updated on that. So go check it out. And I'll let you guys know as soon as I pick the winners. So once your device is registered, you know for a fact that it is, you're going to want to go ahead and hook up your iPhone to your USB cord uh, to your computer. This will work with PC or Mac and just make sure you have the most recent version of iTunes. Now when you have the actual firmware file, you're going to want to download it. Now a common question to answer, of course, is the fact that you cannot actually download the file over the air, the uh, firmware over the air. So once your device is registered, you can't just go into settings, general software update and update. It's not going to be sitting there. You have to manually restore um, your iDevice whether it be iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, right through iTunes with the firmware. Now this is very simple. So you'll do option click restore iPhone, and then right from there you're going to locate the firmware that you just downloaded. Now I haven't just downloaded um, the iOS 9 beta firmware yet, I'm still waiting for it to download. Um, but I'm, in this example I'm just going to use the 8.4 beta, and it's very simple. So all you do is select that file, you could have it on your desktop, your downloads, wherever it may be, select it, and then click open, and then it will give you a confirmation. iTunes will erase and restore your 
iPhone to it'll say iOS 9 and we'll verify the restore with Apple. And then from that point on, you're going to click restore. I'm obviously not going to do that because I'm already on 8.4, but I'm going to do this as soon as my um, iOS 9.0 firmware finishes downloading. But there you go. You can see it's that simple. And then it'll just go through a quick restore process. Uh, once that's done, if you choose, you can reload your backup onto your iPhone and put everything back on that you previously had. You won't lose anything in the process. Of course, it'll just take a little bit of time to bring stuff back, uh, depending on how much you have. But it's that simple and you'll be all set and you'll be running iOS 9 on your iDevice. That simple. And this, of course, again, is all made possible by UDIDregistrations.com. Again, I will leave their link in the description so you can go check it out and full steps down in the description as well. Um, so you could go check it out and get your device running iOS 9 in no time. So there you go guys, that's it for this video. That is how to get iOS 9 beta 1 running on your iDevice, whether it be your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. It'll be running up in no time using the latest software from Apple. Of course, you'll be able to use them throughout the summer through UDIDregistrations.com. So I'll leave links and everything down in the description so you can figure that out. If you need anything further or you missed something, go ahead and check out the description below um, for everything. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Stay tuned for my full review of iOS 9 coming very soon as well as some hidden features and further videos uh, throughout the entire summer uh, regarding iOS 9. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.